Hi everyone, welcome to One Minute Gradio, where I explain some concept or some feature in Gradio in just about a minute. So today I'd like to talk about dynamic rendering. So what does that mean? So typically in a Gradio application, when you define your components, they get rendered and that layout is fixed. It's the same layout for every user of your Gradio application. But sometimes you want to change up the layout depending on how a user has, you know, maybe selected particular options or interacted with the app. So here, what I want to do is I want to show a text box if someone selects a YouTube URL. I'm going to show an audio input if someone dislikes an audio or a video input. So what I can do here is I can use the gr.render decorator, which takes in as a parameter the inputs. So this is the source. So this is if I change this, I want to render different things. Then I just define a function, and that function can be called anything. So here I'll call it sources. And then basically inside here, I render the component using if statements or for loops um, based on the input here. So if the S here, if that sources is audio, then I want to render an audio component. If it's video, video component, and so on. So you can see here, I've refreshed here. So now it's, if I choose an audio, it'll render an audio component video. It'll show a video. And if I select YouTube URL, it'll show a text box with a placeholder. And that's all part of the code here. And then I can do something with this. I can attach event listeners or do other things as well. So this can be very handy when you want to change up the layout for event listeners in your Gradio application, depending on what a user has done already. So thank you for watching.